Oh. Oh gosh. Oh. Ugh. This coffee, I think, sat in the pot too long and got burned. Because, like, the first bit of taste is good. Yeah. But then, like, the after flavor is just bad. Ugh. Like burned beans. Ugh. Oh, that'll wake you right up. Holy cow. What's going on, YouTube fam? Micah here, shooting another high adventure video. Heading to the lake. First, gonna stop by though and get some crickets from my cricket dealer. So I had this really cool idea and I've seen another YouTuber or two do it and it's strapping a GoPro to a fish. This could be epic because this lake that we're fishing, Lake Murray, is pretty clear. I wanna see what's going on down there. A lot of times there are like tons of bait balls and stuff like that. Other fish hitting the surface. There are tons of other fish in this lake. But why don't we try to catch not just a regular fish because I've seen a lot of people like strap them to, to carp, which is cool. But I thought, why not strap it to a gar and see what the heck is going on down there. First, we gotta get a gar though, and that's usually a challenge in and of itself, unless you're like bow fishing for him or whatever. But obviously I have to catch him alive and that can be a little bit difficult, but we're gonna give it a try and see what happens. Lake World Bait Shop. Uh, look at this, little cricket bucket. Isn't that so fancy? Super cool. Anyway, let's go get some crickets. Oh, you know what? Actually, I want some herring as well. Let's grab our herring bucket. There we go. Hello there. Good morning. Whoa. How are you? Good, sir. How are you doing? Wow, what is that? Oh, that's cool. Guys, that's made out of palm fronds. That is made Some... from, um, or that is made by an old guy, an old buddy of mine. He used to be a guy out here. He's retired. Nice. And he's become quite the artist. Wow, that's cool. That's awesome. That is awesome. How many crickets? A couple dozen, please. Thank you. Guys, check this out. Oh, these crickets. Now, he paints a white line along here so it makes it smooth. That way, look at this guy, he's trying to get out. They can't get out. And they won't jump where they can't see. So that's how they all stay in here without a lid on. All you need is batteries. Oh, perfect, I'll get those in right now. Thank Thanks you, sir. Good. All right, good luck. There you go, guys. Got some herring in there. Got our crickets, we're ready to go. <sighs> Jumped our pedal drive down here. There we go. Durant, man, it was nice to meet you. Good luck to you. I'll see you out here again, I'm sure. <laughs> I will, thank you. All right, so we're gonna head out to an island to go try to get our gar. But first on our way out, we're gonna drop this little paddle tail fluke overboard and troll it out behind us. Just in case there are any striper in the vicinity looking for an easy meal. I just cast this guy out behind me, let out a bunch of line. I usually let it sit back about maybe 50 yards or so behind the boat. And then we just troll out. Chop that in there. Perfect. That just sits out just like that. Head to our spot. All right, coming up on our island. Nothing trolling, but that's okay. Put this guy aside for a minute. Let's go get some bream. All right, on the smaller rod, I have a little bobber and hook set up. This is where our crickies come into play. Who wants to volunteer? Volunteer, oh, oh, no. oh we got an escape, eh? Get back, no, go, eh, now. Ah, got him. Anyhow, as I was saying, got a small hook, gonna throw some cricket action. Now the reason I'm doing this is because the only time I ever caught a gar, I was actually using a live little brim on a bobber. And I was told by a subscriber that they'll eat anything. Like they, they'll just, they'll like just, they're almost kind of like a catfish apparently. They'll, they'll just eat trash and junk and stuff. So I want to try to catch some little brim. I might use one live, but I also want to try cutting one up, putting it out on the bottom in one of these little sandy areas where I've seen gar before cruising around and see if we can catch one that way. I've got 25 crickets. If I can't catch a brim with 25 crickets, then 
I've got no business being out on the water fishing. There he is, there he is. Got him. There we go, that's our first one. There we go. A little sunfish. That's perfect. That's perfect right there. Like a little pumpkin seed. There you go. Get it, just like two or three of them. And uh, then we should be good to go, I'm thinking. I'm gonna make this my little live well here. There we go. Drop them in. There we go. Got him. Do I really have my drag set that low? Holy cow. This guy's pulling drag. There we go. Get back in this boat. Look at that. Oh, the I used, that was like the most goober move. I, I was holding him over the boat. Right before he jumped out, I thought, what are you doing? And sure enough, in a whirl of skirts, off he went. <sighs> right back in the bang zone. There he goes, come on. Got him. Oh, is this just a baby fish? Oh, oh there he goes, good grief. See that? Lightning quick reflexes. Got him. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe this little red-eared sunfish are just nailing it. Or pumpkin seed, I should say. Pumpkin seed. There you go. I think that's enough bait for now. We've got four now. That's plenty of bait. Like I said, we'll probably end up letting one or two go at the end of the day. But I'd rather have, rather have a little more than not enough. Okay, so there's this big sandy point that comes out right here. And last time I was here... I could see Gar going back and forth over it. I don't see anything right off the bat. Doesn't mean they're not down there. Oh wait, there's one. I see one swimming right over there. Yeah, they just swim along this, this point. So that's what we're going to be looking for there. Okay. Yeah, there he goes. That's a good size. That's probably about two and a half feet long. I mean, not the, the biggest Gar I've ever seen in my life, but he'd be big enough to get the job done. All right. Oh, there's another one right there, just swimming around. Okay, this is awesome. Let's get our bait out there. Let me show you guys how we're gonna do this. All right, guys, here's our first little brim. I beat him over the head with a rock, so he did. I'm gonna do that right there. Just like that, a little bit of tail meat in there. We'll double hook it through. Okay, guys, so this is what I've done. I have 15 pound braided line on a leader. Got a little bit of cut bait right there. And then I just put a couple of split shots, kind of just a goober setup to be honest with you. But I want it to be real low profile, so when that gar picks it up, I'm going to need him to eat it. So I'm going to be feeding line out so he can hopefully just hork this down because what's going to happen is, is I need him to swallow it. Because it's almost impossible, or at least what I've heard, it's almost impossible to hook them in their beak. So this is what we're going to be using, pretty low profile, hopefully that braided line will get us past those teeth. So let's see if it works. Give it the old heave ho. There we go. See if one picks it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave slack in the line. And then what I'm hoping to do is I'll see the slack pick up and then the fish start running with it. All right guys, I've decided on this rod. I've taken one of the dead herring and we're going to rig it up on a little octopus hook. Actually just the tail of it just like that I want to throw that out too. try a couple different baits here see which see if they're see if one works better than the other here oh guys guys we're getting about here we're getting about here here we go here we go yep all right lines taken out we got one got one eating it all right it stopped okay there goes line all right he's got it he's got it he's got it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep feeding him line so you see this we're just letting the line out and I want it to stop at least three times that means he'll stop and munch on it. That's usually what happens. Now it's stopped now. Oh, is he still there? Oh yeah, yeah, he's still there. So every time he stops, that means they, they'll stop and they'll, they'll eat on it. At least that's what I've heard. Because again, the goal is to get past that beak and down into his mouth. And that's why we have the small hook. So there's just as little resistance as possible. Okay, we've had two stops so far. Hold up, is he still there? Now this one's on the herring. This is a really long stop. Oh yeah, no, no, he's still there, he's still there. Okay, there's a stop, there's a stop. Okay, line's picking up. Get ready, here we go. You still there, still there? Oh, that's a good long pause, that's a good long pause. Oh yeah, she's still there, she's still there. Got her, got it. Now hopefully that braid does its job. 
and we can get it in. Come on. Now, I've let out a ton of light, so it's gonna take me a minute to get her in. Nice. Come on. Game's not over yet, though. With all those teeth, you just get a little leery. Come on up. Oh yeah, here she is. Oh, there are two of them. Oh, look at that, there's two of them. Oh, there are, no, there are three of them. There are three of them. Come here, baby. Come on. Oh, come on. That braid should be doing its job. Come this way. Oh man, she just does not want to come in. I don't blame you. Come in. There it is. There we go. Yes, we got it. Look at that. Woohoo! Nice. The braid did its work, and we got her. Awesome. Actually, I've got a lot of line out, so she didn't really eat it down too much. But what we're gonna do now is we'll just clip that off. There we go. Let's get her in the net here. There we go. Look at that. That is so cool. Now, for those of you who don't know, gar here are like a trash fish. People actually want you to kill them because they'll eat all the other good fish, like uh, like your bass, your crappie, stuff like that. So a lot of people actually like bow hunt these and stuff like that. So these are a bad fish. They're a bad fish in other words. So you want to get rid of them. Those are some gnarly looking little teeth there. Woo! That would hurt, I'm guessing, if you got bit by that. All right, let's try that, just like that. All right, that's ready. Now, I have a fishing rod already set up. Heavy duty line, 25 pound test. And I'm gonna tie it to two points on my GoPro. Now, this is where it could get tricky, because you gotta hope that you're a good knot tire. Otherwise, uh, things could get sticky fast. All right, GoPro is on. My guess is it's gonna kind of shift around a little bit. But really can't help that. Here we go. There she goes. Did the GoPro fall off, I'm wondering? Because either she's just sitting on the bottom or the GoPro fell off. Ooh, I don't know guys, we might have lost our fish. We lost our fish, dang it. We got the GoPro back, but we lost our fish. Shoot, I think she just slipped right out of the sleeve is what happened, dang it. All right, let's try to get another one here. I didn't account, I actually thought the sleeve would be too small. So the fact that it was too big kind of surprises me actually. Oh God, oh, I'm eating a sandwich. We got one here, we got one here. All right, check that out. Oh, look, piece of turkey. Mm. Check that out, you see the line going? She's taking off with it. Here we go. I'm gonna loosen the drag a little bit. Holy cow, loosened it way too much. Got him, got him. All right, now we gotta let that braid do its work. Oh, she's way out there. <laughs> All right, come on, baby. Here we go, gar number two. Bring our net with us here. Come here. Ooh, I don't know how well this is hooked. I think, I think I see the bait in its mouth. That's not a good thing. Come up this way, come on, yeah. Right into short, oh no! No, there she goes. Ah, uh, dang it. Totally busted off, guys, I could see the bait in its mouth, and that's not a good sign. Yeah, she just busted the hook right off. I don't know how many opportunities I'm gonna get, but we can't let them pa pass up like that. All right, guys, while we wait for hopefully another chance at a gar, I wanted to tell you guys really quickly, but I have dropped, for the first time, merchandise on my channel. I now have high adventure merch, like 
this pretty sweet octopus necklace. It comes in two different types. There's also kid size and adult size. I also have a store with hats and sweaters and t-shirts and hoodies, all kinds of stuff. So if you wanna get in on some high adventure merch, go to one of the links in the description below. There are two separate ones. One for these octopus necklaces, and then there's another one for like all of the hats and t-shirts and stuff like that. Go get yourself some high adventure merch. First time ever having merchandise on my channel. I'm pretty excited. All right guys, we just got another bite. Just got a bite on this one. Took a fair bit of line out. I don't know if she's still there. If she's still there, this is the first stop. Yep, she's still there. All right, all right. Give her some more line. All right, there's a pause. That's pause number three, pause number three. Oh no, did we lose her? Maybe I let her eat it too much. No, 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 she's still there, she's still there. Oh, that was a good long pause. Okay, okay, here we go. Got her, got her. Okay, okay, we got her. Come on, let's get this one in. Come on. Hopefully that real long pause, oh, guys, I thought she, she got off. I thought she got off. Oh, it's right on the tip. It's right on the tip, this is not good. Come this way. She's not hooked very well. Come here, come on. No, 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 come on. Come here. Shoot, oh look at that, and there's another one following her. Oh, come on. Oh, there are two more, look at that. Right down here, two more. Following her in. I don't know if it's in her gullet or not. I don't think it is. Come on, oh, this is a nice one. There we go, oh, no, no, no. Oh, shoot, come on, come on. It's twice now, we've almost. Oh, shoot right between the legs. Holy cow. Oh, come on. Come on. Up here. Yes. Got her. Yeah. Woo. That was uh, intense. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, where'd that hook get? Oh, man, guys. Check that out. Look at that. That hook wasn't even inside. It's more just like wrapped around her beak. Ooh, that was close. That was close, but we got her. That's a, that's a good three foot long fish, I guarantee you. It's a pretty fish. All right, let's get a GoPro on her. Let's see if we could do this thing again here. Give it a second try. All right, here you go, little buddy. You swim down. Let's go see what there is to see down there. Hmm, well, quick status update. Um, it's been about five minutes in to our drop, and I think I've picked the laziest fish in the reservoir because he swam down to the bottom and he's just sitting there. Either that or the GoPro came off, but I'm pretty confident that that GoPro is still on there. So far, it's kind of anticlimactic. Right, guys i think this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go hang out over here on the bank 
and we're gonna throw a line out see if we can catch I don't know something while we let our fish probably just chill he's not gonna do anything he just refuses to do anything so it's whatever if he chooses to swim around we'll be right here I got tons of line on the spool you can always jump back in the kayak and uh, go chase after him otherwise we're gonna throw another line out I don't know maybe see if we catch a catfish or something like that yeah let's do a piece out that way might catch a gar too actually I wouldn't mind catching another gar those are kind of a fun fight maybe if we catch another gar We'll put the GoPro on him, see if he's gonna be more spunky than the one we have. Bloop. All right, guys, I think it's time to go ahead and bring this guy up. My guess is the battery is probably about out and it's time to let this guy go. He's done his service to humanity. There he is. Come on, little dude. All right, oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah, she's like, I'm done, get me out of here. Well, there she goes. Totally fine. Don't let me catch you another time though, because any other time I'll probably kill you. So, your lucky day. Here we go guys, here we go. Get in a bite, get in a bite, get in a bite. Still there? Oh yeah, yeah, he's still there, he's still there. Let up some line. Just all of a sudden that line just starts to tighten up and go. Oh, there we go, there we go. There's stop number four. Yeah, he's stripping, he's stripping. There you go, oh no, no, keep going, keep going. All right, we're gonna pause it here. Time to dance, hopefully. Yep, we got him. At least for now we got him. Ah, uh, come on. Now we reel him in from like 500 yards out. Oh my. Man, there's another one following him up. That's crazy. Oh, there's a third one right there. A fourth one right there. Holy cow. That is so cool. Come on, right up this way. No, 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 right up this way. Got the tail. Yes. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, all right, all right, all right. There we go. Another, another one. That is awesome. Man, can you imagine getting one that's like five feet long? I mean, that's like another probably like three footer. Man, I can't imagine, like five feet long, that would just be nuts. See that braided line right against those teeth there? Look at those teeth. Look at that, that would be pretty gnarly. That's why you gotta got, have that braid. Those are some chompers right there, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! All right, there she is. Go, are you actually gonna swim free? There she goes. Woohoo! All right, let's see. If this one will actually move around or not, I don't know. Hopefully. All right, guys, Rod's been pretty quiet about the last 20 minutes. Let's go retrieve him. I'm assuming it still hooked on him. Maybe not. Maybe it fell off. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, we still have a fish. Oh, yeah, we do. We still got a fish and a camera. Hooray! He's just been chilling down there.
All right, YouTube fam. Sun's starting to set. We probably better head on out. This guy's got plenty to tell his friends, that's for sure. There you go. Still alive and kicking. Probably just wondering what in the heck just happened. All right, there you go. Swim free. Well, YouTube fam, we did it. Little trial and error. Didn't work the first time, but we came out. We got the gar strapped up threw the camera down there. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. At this point in time, I have no idea what it looks like. So I, I'm sorry that the fish seem to be lazy. Again, I thought, man, they'd be cruising all over the place and it would be pretty epic, but they kind of just went down to the bottom and just sat there. So maybe we'll have to try it again and see if we'll get lucky. Maybe with like a bigger gar. Um, maybe a bigger gar would cruise around a little bit more and be able to handle the, the GoPro a little bit better. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.